What's up? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we got a 1964 Chevy Bel Air, believed to be 350 under the hood. This one's got power steering and power brakes. It's also got a nice air ride system. One of the nicest ones that I have seen. And I'll be showing that to you here in a moment. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe and share this video. This one's got disc brakes in the front, aftermarket Riddler wheels. Disc brakes in the rear as well. We're going to be taking it down the road, pointing out flaws so you know what you're getting before you get here. Detailed pictures, maplemotors.com. Financing and shipping is available on all of our rides. And of course, every Monday we have new inventory. So sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Okay, before we take off, a look around the interior, check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel here. This one here has got this... Uh, ride tech setup which is pretty cool the white interior which is nice and clean front and rear your package tray which is loaded with memphis audio headliner could be better it's got a few stains and a couple rips missing the light cover on this one missing a visor over there you got aftermarket gauges these are door poppers under the dash you can push them to open each door or obviously pull the handle you also got a trunk button right over here and of course, with this setup here, let's see. You take everything up and down. I'm used to everything working pretty good around 80, in the 80s. Get it, I just gotta get them close together. Well, that's pretty close all the way around there. Looking around the interior, wipers work. Radio. Gotta be in the glove box. Yeah. Got a radio in the glove box. Rod or the air in here that is not hooked up. It's not doing anything. Engine temperature is still working its way up. Oil pressure is around 50. Turn signals. Left side is blinking on the dash there. Right side is also blinking on the dash there. Gas gauge is buried on E, so we're stopping to get fuel for sure. Horn, did you place your bets? It works. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Okay, getting ready to take off here. Anything I see you will know about. This is the first time I've driven this ride. I'll do this with every car on the lot because I have a ton of inventory to go through week by week. Sounds great. Turning radius is pretty good. Let's turn it all the way there. It's actually pretty silky smooth. Head on up to the gas station here. Go down the road. It's got a left pull on that steering wheel. When I let go, it pulls to the left there. Get down at the throttle, it feels pretty good. Your passing gear is hooked up. Let's see where everybody is behind me. I need to tighten this mirror too. Getting in those brakes. Brakes are smooth. Speedometer's coming up on the dash there. The kick down is not hooked up. Yep. Not engaging there. So we're going to pull into the gas station here. I'm going to put about $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride. And we'll continue the video. After this, I'm going to raise it all the way up. And we're going to get some undercarriage shots. We're also going to go by the camera, get some outside shots, and then picking out the flaws at the end of the video. I'll be right back. All right, so I was going for $30 worth of gas. And you see it spilt on the ground underneath here because it come out and overfilled went down that hole. We have a full tank of gas and a bad gas gauge. Let's keep rolling.
taking off now. Went ahead and did the walk around, picking out the flaws. It's gonna be put at the end of the video. Um, so far, so good. Oil pressure's a little bit on the low side at idle. When you give it gas, it jumps up to about 35, 40. Engine temperature on this one is at 200. Good deal. Throttle feels pretty good. Still got a left pull when you let go of the steering wheel there. Again, the brakes feel pretty good on this one. We're getting closer to the lot now. This car is taking all the little bumps in the road pretty well. Nice and smooth. We're gonna go ahead and pull back in the lot here. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. So stick around for that. I'll see you in a moment. Later, guys. All right, picking out the flaws. Let's get started. Coming around your front bumper on this one, it's in pretty good shape. You do got some minor scuffs and scratches. Some on the side here, which we'll be getting to in a second. Back around the grill, little ding right here. Little scratches on some of your trim. The spot there chips on the edge little spot here down this lower portion you got some bubbles at the bottom of the door chips scratches a little dust there come off you got a little rust here Extra wax on the back there, coming back down your midsection. You see the cap here is just a hair off. Little color, some chips. Chips on the edge of the door there, little scuffs. In the middle of the door here, like scratches. There's a bubble right here. Up there. A little dust on the car. It's wiping off. We've seen this in the front already. Coming back over the top. Windshield on this one is in good shape. Trim looks good all the way around and the seal. Seal around this window is in good shape as well. chips here little bubble around the back trim around this window you can see some of the tents coming up in here too it needs to be redone on the trunk lid here you got a few little bubbles right in that area 
we're gonna be popping it up here before the end of the video too there's a button on the inside bubble there around your back bumper light scuffs and scratches on it it's not perfect scuff on the side here spot there so the trunk's not perfectly lined up either fitting on your tail lights little bubble here really small scratch right here a little scuff there as well coming down this side lower portion a couple bubbles popping up on the back here as well light marks on the side of the paint there light little scuffs chips on the edge here bubbles in the front little scuffs little spot there little bubble here on top of that fender the trunk lid there looks nice your back window here it's tent coming off the window looks good itself blemishes there around your windows looks pretty good your seals good vent window looks nice scuffs on top of the fender here chip there so inside here now your front windshield nice and clean trim looks good need some wipers a set of wipers would be good they're kind of messed up roof pretty good Any jams okay let's go ahead and check out the interior We'll pop the trunk and we'll get her started. So on this one, it does have the remote that pops the door, but you reach right in the window and open it. Your door panel here has got a few screws missing and some trim pulled off. The seal around it looks good. Chips up top. spot here carpet in this one looks good seat same thing looks pretty good your headliner like I said needs a little work it's been in here a while they haven't replaced it popping the trunk now button right here here pops right up it's all carpeted in here air pod by rod tech seals and your jam looks good and shutting it down shuts easy 
All right, let's go ahead and get her started up. Listen to that motor. Pretty quiet on this one. And up under the hood is really clean. Got a few little spots on the edge there. Overall, pretty good. Let's lower the hood down here. Oh, right here on the nose, you've got a lot of little rust bubbles popping up. It's got a little acne up here. Chip. Spot there. Crack here. Guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share this video, hit like, and check out the other videos we have on the channel. We have a playlist below. Cars currently available update every week. We get about 60 cars a month, 10 to 15 cars a week. I don't always be posting test drives, pointing out the flaws, walk around, showing you all the new rides, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Go check them out, hit subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. See you later.